it's the same way how I guess it was there because I'm having a fantastic day. Today, I'm going to be making a new series called the How To Advice Show. Now, basically, yes, this is going to be a knockoff of the Juggies Pow Wow. I'm going to admit that right here, real quick. I'm going to be even taking some gags from it, some jokes. I'm going to, not copying it, but I'm taking ideas from it. And I'm not going to call it my own because I've taken ideas from it, other people's stuff. So, I'm going to have some of my own aspects into it, but I'm also going to have some of the other aspects from McJuggerNuggets channel, the Juggies Pow Wow, in it. So, I'm going to put that out there real honest. But basically, I made this series because I think, you know, I think it's really important for a kid these days to be making advice for kids these days. Because how, who else is going to know about kids these days other than kids these days? So, and I'm a pretty smart person. Not really in school, but, you know, just how the world works. I'm pretty smart with, you know, common sense and stuff. And then also some things that are not common sense, as you guys have seen for me in the past. I don't always follow through common sense. But I know a lot about, you know, what works in the world. So I thought it would be really important to make a series about this. I'm going to be ranging topics, different topics from different subjects. From change to school survival to death to loneliness and stuff. And then also some of my other topics that I'm going to make up that were not in the Juggies Pow Wow series. I think it's really important to make this, but this first episode is going to be about change. I think that's a really appropriate topic because, you know, kids go through a lot of change these days and it's really difficult for them to understand exactly how to go through that with, because kids don't, have not lived for that long. I mean, I'm only 14 years old. That's not a lot of time. I've only been on the world for a short time. I don't know much about, you know, anything in the world. I don't have it all figured out. I really don't. I, I'm just, I'm just a little... A little nutcracker that doesn't really know much about how to crack nuts. Ha, huh, you see what? I should be quiet. Anyway, I've been through a lot of change, more than you guys know, more than I've really talked about much on YouTube. But I do think that I've talked about how my mom died a few years ago from suicide, from depression, and how I had to go through some change in a quick amount of time. And it really, really, I know, I know people don't like it when I say this, but it, it ruins somebody. It ruins people. Maybe not forever, but for a short amount of time. And it really, really hurts people to have to go through that. And my mom died. And then two short months later, I found out that my dad had a new girlfriend, my stepmom, Kim. And I, I went back and forth from where I currently lived at that time in Vermont to Syracuse, New York, where I live right now. Today, December 14th, would actually be my mom's birthday, my her 43rd birthday. She died back in 2013. Today would have actually been her 43rd birthday. And it's really, you know, been difficult. I had to write the date down on the paper today in social studies class. And it was really difficult to do that. But I had to go through a lot of change, and I went back and forth from Syracuse, you know, every day every two weeks and then she would come to Vermont you know on the weeks that we didn't go to Syracuse and it made it really difficult because I had to go through you know my mom's death which is already hard enough and then you know obviously having a new person in your life is it's hard enough either way so two hard things in one it, it was it was really it was really difficult and I felt suicidal for a long time and I didn't really know what to do with my life and I didn't know if I was going to make it through because you know at the beginning I didn't really like my stepmom but you know I learned to grow and yeah we have our problems but I love her I really do I think that's really important for you to love change even though it might be bad at the time you know something bad happens to you learn to grow from it just just think about it somebody in the world has been through worse change than you think about the people in Haiti the people in Haiti who have tried to grow, you know, to be rich for many years and then they've had hurricanes come down and crash and then they were trying to rebuild from that and then just in October Hurricane Matthew happened. So ruined everything for them. So they they're still rebuilding from hurricanes bad change that they're trying to go through. So it could always be worse. Think about that. Change could always be worse. I know it's hard for people to believe, like, you know, it couldn't be worse, it couldn't be worse, oh my god, the internet is down, this could not get any worse. I know it might feel like that, but think about it. 
in reality, somebody always has something worse going on. And the internet's gonna come back on in like two minutes. Just wait. Just wait. You know, if the internet went down and this video freezes, it's not gonna be that bad because it could always be worse. Gotta learn, you know, my, 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 my catchphrase, stay strong. That's the, I live by those words every day because my sisters and my family and a lot of friends that I know get into a lot of negativity and I tell them to stay strong. It could always be worse. Literally, I, I, it could always be worse. I want you to think about this. Change, it might seem bad at the time, but you know, change is always a good opportunity to th make things better. If you are having bad grades in, in this one class and you need to change that, you could change it for the worse or you could change it for the better. Think about it, you could change yourself and if you're doing very little work at the time and you're gonna change to do no work at all, that's bad. But if you're gonna change, put the work in, and you're gonna try hard, that's that's gonna change for the good. That's that's a good way to change. You can always make it better. You could be, you know, at my school failing at 65. You could be at 65, bring it up to like the 90s or maybe even 100, and always try to make it the better way that you can. There's two options. You can make it worse or you can make it better. Make it better. And even if what you think at the time is not going to make it better, you gotta gotta do what you can do. Because when my mom died, I always thought, this is never gonna get better. This is never gonna get better. People always told me, I had a friend, he wasn't really my friend, but I knew him. His dad had died in a motorcycle accident. And I, I told him, you know, my mom died, it's really difficult for me. And he said, you know, it gets better. I, I didn't believe him. I didn't believe anybody. My dad, you know, I lost my grandma back in 2005. He said that, you know, it was difficult, but it always gets better. So, think about change. It always gets better. It always gets better. Even if you don't think so at the time, it always gets better. You know, someone shoots you in the leg. You got one. You got one leg now. You know, you see those. You see those cool people with like their their rods hanging out of their legs. I find those people really cool, actually. Those, I like that. I find that pretty cool. As weird as that might sound, it's pretty cool. People like that, you're awesome. <laughs> I don't want to be like that, but. People like that, you're awesome. Just like, I think singers are pretty awesome, but you don't want to hear me sing. I don't want to be a singer. <laughs> but think about it. There's people that's going to support you, going to think that you, it's awesome. Now, I feel bad for people in that situation, you know. Obviously, it'd be better to walk around, you know, on two legs normally, but you're awesome. Everybody has an awesome part about them. Think about it. If you want to be a robot for Halloween, it's easier to be a robot for Halloween than in that situation. So... There's always a good side to it. You gotta think about that. Always a good side. Think about it. You ask out this girl that you've been wanting to ask out for a long time. She rejects you. That's good. That's horrible, you think. But you can change in the ways from being nervous about asking her out and how you'd be the perfect boyfriend. But then you can change yourself to not have no worry about that anymore. You worry so long about how am I going to ask her out? Then how am I going to be the perfect boyfriend? Well, if she says no, you don't have to worry about any of those things. So that's a change for the better. Now that's not saying don't go chase after the girl that you want. But always chase after what you want. Just don't, not if it involves murdering or anything. I'm not going to, that doesn't mean go out and murder people. Or like, you know do anything bad. That's not what I'm saying. If you have something good that you want to do, do it. It's, it's a good change. Change can happen any way you think of. I think that's all I really have to say about this topic. If you guys want to know any other topics that you want me to talk about, I will talk about them. Just put it in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Samuel Wilson 615 MySpace. I actually have a MySpace. I don't use it though. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Stay strong, guys. Have a fantastic day today, and I will see you later.